Indian Institute of Science is one of the oldest research university in this country. It's more than 100 years old. It has done research in all areas of basic science, applied science, and engineering. Ten years ago, there were many department centers doing research related to climate change. And all these groups came together when we established the Devecha Center for Climate Change. This was possible because of a generous support from Arjun Devecha, Diana Devecha, and Jermaine Grantham through the Grantham Foundation for the Protection of the Environment. This center has now established new research programs in glaciology and related to aerosols and climate change. It has been involved in major outreach activities and this has created new awareness about climate change in the country. The Veja Center for Climate Change conduct workshops, conferences and training program to create awareness about climate change. An annual public lecture uh, called Jeremy Grantham Lecture on Climate Change is delivered by an eminent scientist and widely covered by the media. An annual climate science quiz contest is held for the benefit of college students. And the center advises the government on issues related to climate change policy. The center has been actively involved in glaciology, aerosols, climate modeling, monsoons, biodiversity and policy. The Vecha Center for Climate Change is the leading center for cryospheric studies in India. We have observational program as well as modeling program to study the glaciers. In observation programs, we study glacial retreat, glacier mass balance, and moraine dam lakes. Here at Devecha Center, we have developed new models, specifically to estimate the glacier depth, glacier mass balance, and the formation of new lakes. These techniques have been used by government of India to launch a major programs, answering specific questions like how much is the glacial store water in Himalaya, how much is the annual mass loss from the glacier, and where new lakes will be formed. Devicha Center for Climate Change is providing leadership for this program. In addition, we also organize training program so that we can attract the young people in the field of glaciology. To study the impact of aerosol on climate, we conduct multi-platform field experiments involving a network of surface observatories, research ships, instrumented aircrafts, and high-altitude balloons. And these observations revealed the persistence of elevated absorbing aerosol over most of the Indian region. For this, we collaborate with NERC UK, Department of Energy USA, and many other organizations all over the world. And it is not desirable to have black carbon in the stratosphere. It is known to have interaction between black carbon and stratospheric ozone and consequently it can delay the recovery of the stratospheric ozone hole for several decades. The research conducted at this center for the first time have revealed that most of the aerosol located above are in mixed state, enhancing the aerosol absorption substantially and its consequence to the stratospheric ozone hole. At the Vecha Center for Climate Change, we have developed climate change calculator in collaboration with the Imperial College London. This calculator shows the impact of different countries' emission reduction plans on the global temperatures. And going forward, we would like to improve this uh, calculator by including the sectoral details. And specifically, we are focusing on the power sector and uh, the land use change sector. One theme of my work on climate change and policy in the Veta Center for Climate Change is to help improve the scientific foundation for mitigation policies. Uh, for example, I've done a fair amount of work trying to compare different climate forces having very different atmospheric lifetimes. In the case of carbon dioxide, we know that the relevant quantity for mitigation is the cumulative carbon dioxide emissions. Recent work by me in the Vecha Center shows exactly why this works by providing a mathematical account. And not only does this confirm the use of cumulative carbon accounting in global climate policy and climate negotiations, but also I think highlight the urgency together with other work of rapid global decarbonization. I get to work with experts in many fields under one umbrella and that makes it very easy for me to do my research. The center provides adequate amount of freedom that a researcher needs, which is unmatched in India. 
Divecha Center has so many eminent scientists across the country who are associated with it and discussing them on different aspects of climate science improves my knowledge and my research. The goal of the research is not only limited to research but also to outreach that research and to benefit the society. The students we have trained here as well as those who attended our workshop, they will now be in various centers which are being established and this will increase the amount of research on climate change and its impact that will be done in the next 10 years. One of the objectives of the center is linking science with the policy makers. With this intention, we have established the South Asia Regional Office of Future Earth at this center. Center will pursue region-specific solution-oriented research in collaboration with the government and various other partners. Understanding of the complex relation between water, energy, food nexus will be one of the objectives of the center for the near future. About 100 people are working on this, including professors, postdocs and students to, on these various issues. And we are very optimistic that we will come up with the solutions for the problem posed by the society because of climate change.